Welcome back. You're still watching Ways. Now, today is Mother's Day, a celebration honoring the mother of the family as well as motherhood, um, maternal bonds, and the influence of mothers in the society. It is celebrated on various days in many parts of the world, most commonly in the month of March or May. Now, happy Mother's Day, everyone. Thank you. <laughs> Today is just a quiet Mother's Day. Very, because, very I mean, this, quiet uh, one. this COVID 19, Sha. I mean, I just saw how on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, everybody that had planned, I mean, different but events for Mother, you just canceled. see it be canceled, canceled, canceled. Yeah. You know yeah. what I think? I think people are afraid. Yeah. And I don't think fear is the right approach to it yeah, because no. fear is an illness on, on its, its own. own there are people in panic mode and panic never really helped anybody nope. do the right thing but be be bold enough such that you ha just have this strong belief in your heart that maybe i'm wrong but this is how no, life works that, I, for I me i have a strong belief in my heart that uh, I don't care who Corona is. You wave me, I wave you <laughs> goodbye forever. Mm. Like, but I will do the right thing I should do, which is wash my hands, keep mm. my distance. But, but this social <laughs> you know? distancing thing, yeah. is it really achievable? It is, actually. It is. It how? Is. How? You stay stay in yeah, indoors if you don't have to go out. And <laughs> if you go out, just be observant, be intentional about it. You won't it. go to the market. Do you have need to Super, instead supermarkets when you're on the queue to pay? Go to the, the supermarket and wait. How? It means waiting. How long? I don't know. I don't Your know. patience determines. I think, I think it's just the willpower to do it. Um, and guess what? Oh, I'm sorry. Most Nigerians, mm. aside the fact that this COVID-19, a lot of Nigerians do not understand what social space means. Mm. Mm -hmm. Earlier before this, you yeah, see, absolutely. you are the queue at the um, ATL, yeah. AT ATM or something, and somebody's just like hovering. Bumping like, it, yeah. And I was just so like, annoying. so I just step out of the queue. And they don't right. understand. They feel, feel like you've left the queue. And I tell them, no, I'm still, I'm still the there. Queue. Well, you're too but close to yes, the yeah. I don't know how to explain to them that you are too close to me. All right, still talking COVID-19. Right, Sandy, so here is updates on it. Uh, yesterday, we were kind of like applauding that uh, we don't have any new cases. However, Sunday morning brought about three, three new cases. Um, uh, what, we have like varying reports, but according to Punch, uh, we had one in uh, Abuja, one in Oyo, and which is a UK returnee, and another in a Kitty state. So all together, there are 30 cases with two um, discharged, two discharged, and 28 active um, cases. 30 is still a number that we can we can contain, contain yes, mm -hmm. considering what happened in South Africa that is skyrocketed overnight. Mm -hmm. So I think so far, we're, so far, we're doing a great job containing it. Again, don't don't panic. Don't be afraid. We got this. Yeah, we do. <laughs> do you believe the I, I vitamin believe C and all that? Well, yes, because the, your the, if you listen to doctors, experts explain how the virus works, mm -hmm. I mean, that's why the old people are the most vulnerable right you know because of the immunity yeah, because levels of, yeah so it, it tells you that you could actually do a lot to boost your immunity i mean the cold i had like three weeks ago i'm praising god that it, it was i couldn't come on the show because i lost my voice yeah, yeah. i mean the disaster. phlegm that was coming out from my i remember that it, it was quite like a frog. thick you know <laughs> i mean it was so painful coughing was painful and all of that i said thank god it didn't happen during covid 19 because people will quarantine me and say <laughs> I have straight up. Do you know But that, oh, that cold, up. guess what? That cold, I was telling Oti yesterday that that cold, I only, I had used all the medication. It wasn't working. The local ginger that we had and ginger and honey, I was just chewing it. That was what eventually relieved ginger my chest. Ginger and honey. Yes. Okay. That's a good <laughs> tip. Right. I'm no, loading on that. We, we are blessed. Yeah. Right? Naturally, we have natural things that we're blessed with. Let's just boost our immunity. That's when, all. Did you hear about yeah. neem leaves too? Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. It's, been, it's yeah. been done for ages. Yeah. yeah. And, and I think that's that where chloroquine, even the medication, Humanity is coming from. That neem, that neem leaf, we have it. So let's just go back to our roots. Okay, that my really story good. is from, it's trending on social media. Okay. All right. It's so pathetic that a church, am I permitted to name that church? You can, actually. There's a big church in Ogun State, Winners Chapel, Living, whatever. Living Faith Church, yeah. yeah. They held their service today, and I find that that is absolutely irresponsible. Number one, people, um, you cannot take away the fact that most of these religious leaders are influencers. So are you influencing your, your, con your congregation to go against the law? This is absolutely wrong. And it's, um, what do we call rule of law? It's from this. We're saying that the government and all that are doing, 
But what are we doing? And as an influencer, and it's a huge church. Well, let, I think we should would you the go, video. Why mm. would you go against the law of the land openly? Like, and what interests me is that I didn't hear that there was any, no, no, uh, no police or anybody came. Arrests. There were no mm. arrests made, mm. and he's not been reprimanded. Nothing has happened. Well, so is it, does that, does that mean, mean that they can reprimand? Let us, let no, us well, nobody the is above the law. Well, like for what has happened, that. for what has happened, I think Oyedepo should pay for this. Mm. It should be made a scapegoat. I'm sorry I don't want to appear um, disrespectful, but the law is still the law. It should be applied regardless of who it is. Yeah, he can't do that and get away with it. Absolutely. He can't. Well, but I felt, because I watched um, the video online, I, I, and I felt a bit uncomfortable because I remember when Jesus Christ was approached about paying taxes, and he, he says, said, give to Caesar what is Caesar's. I mean, Jesus Christ was never seen to be going against. If this is a, a law that had been put in place, that there's a mm -hmm. ban, on large gatherings, you know. I understand that, I mean, people that watch the service online said, I tried to contact a few people that I know there, but they weren't taking my calls, because I wanted to get the facts. But people said, okay, they, were, they, 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 they were applied spacing. the spacing, the distancing and all of that. But even at that, you know, we yeah. know that this thing is, can be curbed, Very you know. Contagious. I understand the part of faith, because I hear what he was saying that, I mean, mm -hmm. hospitals are like, um, I mean, churches are like hospitals, you cannot shut them down. I understand that part, because truly people, we are a religious, we can't take that away from us. We, we have strong faith and belief in God, you know, and mm -hmm. it, we've seen it happen because of your faith. You get healed and all of that. I understand that part. But, but because the, Bible says the thing faith is, without, without work, work is dead. Yeah. Here is the thing. Here is another angle to it, to this. Because since we are discussing um, religious faith and stuff, so I might as well bring in um, um, what people would say about it. Popular opinion out there. Remember in the Bible where Daniel, um, there, where a law was made about uh, praying. Not praying. Yes. Exactly. So Daniel defied the law. So most people are coming up with that and saying that no, no, in no. cases where the church is against, uh, sorry, the government or society is against your faith, that then it's okay to. No, I think we should watch the video. Let's watch the video. Hold on. Let's watch the video. Hold on. Let's watch the video. This is a pandemic. Let's watch the video. Health reasons. Mm. Because um, we would jealously guard it. Because that is where our strength is. Can I hear your amen? amen. But it's not the number of people that makes fellowship. Praise God. It's the gathering of the brethren. And so, that has our Zion. That's our city of refuge. Uh, shutting down churches will be like shutting down hospitals. There are many, many plagues that will never have any medical solution but in church. We will use every available platform to ensure that no one is left to die. Amen. No one is left disconnected with helps Amen. or from helps in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Right, you know, the, he, the, the sitting the, arrangement. Yeah, I saw the sitting arrangement. There was quite a bit of spacing and all of that. But what about the don't handles mm, when they were coming? Well, well I, I just feel like, you know, at this point, well, I, and I must commend my pastor because you see, there's a place where you really must understand that, yes, you might have faith to carry certain things, but, but the people, people, not even that, the people that you are, you're the spiritual leader and all of that, might not carry the same faith that you carry. Because I know risk. Bishop Oedipo is a man of faith. Do you understand? He's seen worse. And he, what he was saying in the video is that they've seen many plagues. I mean, there are many plagues that would never find solution but in the church. Given, because Jesus Christ, of course, went to the, on the cross for our healing and all of that. But you see, because this is a law that was given a directive from a government, don't be seen to openly, you be know, defined. yeah, don't be seen to op openly defy a, 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 a law because that is given by something. an authority. Because you are in Nigeria, you are still under the federal You're an influential yeah. person, yeah. and a lot of people are looking up, up to you. you yeah. Yes. All right. So I think we'll leave it there. So my story is quite simple and quick. Lagos State Government, and I must applaud them. They are banning. I'm sorry. They are saying effective from tomorrow, Monday. Um, all um, civil servants are not going to, they are going to stay at home. They're not going to work. I love this particular story because civil service has a, a huge number of, uh, what's it employees. called? Employees under them. So yes. I'm happy that um, Governor Saunu has said, you know what, give it a rest, stay at home. Mm -hmm. You know, they took it in phases. They started with um, schools. Now they've gone to civil service. So hopefully maybe if we don't get fresh cases, I mean, they can come back to work or maybe we might need to now move it even to private to companies private. as well. Yeah. Mm. All right. So that's all Fair we. Enough, yeah. That's all we can take uh, in the news.
um, when we return, we'll be discussing inheritance and um, and uh, what's it called? L and will. will. And we have our first expert in on set with us. Lamy will take the first lead before we bring in our second guest. Please stay with us. We'll be right back.